What up, Trash Talking Circle? This is your one pride rider, 313 Hitman. And I'm gonna comment on this uh, bandwagon trend. And I think I got two sources for this recent bandwagon trend that's been going on for the past 10, 15 years. Now, first, I'm gonna go ahead and speak on this direct TV part of it. The main intent behind the direct TV Sunday ticket was to expand access to a bunch of loyal fans that happen to relocate out of state for a job or something like that to reach those fans, diehards, not the bandwagons, the diehards that happen to be in a state where there's no football team. And um, it, the access was really for them. I mean, the whole thing was really for them. But what started happening was this unintended consequence of all these bandwagon folks really started to, you know, jump on and think it's cool to just wear any jersey they want. And I think that was the main un unintended consequence that pretty much spawned this ridiculous trend on the lawn that really messed it up for all diehards. Now if this 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 didn't happen, a lot of NFL execs execs would say, Oh, the game ain't expanded. We need to expand the game. But the problem is you invited a bunch of bandwagons that didn't really care about the team or the game into the into the sport and it's going to end up you know looking more and more like the NBA now I agree with the NBA the NBA is bandwagon league all the way I'd say darn near 100% you know on the real I just think that un that unintended consequence really sparked a bunch of that's this bandwagon trend that's been going on. Now you got cat. I see Bears fans from Tennessee. You know, floss of jerseys yet. The Titans play in Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? I just seen, you know, Packer fans from Pennsylvania and Alabama. But yet Pennsylvania got two football teams. I mean, I could understand if Packer fans were from you know, New Mexico and, and uh, you know, South Carolina or something like that. But I see Packer fans from Pennsylvania, um, even some from Illinois, and yet the Bears play there. It, it's quite ironic to me, man. But uh, that's just some of the garbage that I'm seeing. My poll problem with it is you got most of these out-of-towners that never really lived near the stadium, never went to a game, but decided it's cool to throw on a jersey of a team that they don't even live near. Now I understand if they migrate out of that state or that market, that's cool. If you're originally from that state. But I have a problem is with these fans that never never been born out of that state. Or, you know what I'm saying, never had any real history with that team. That just decided to throw on the jersey because it looked cool. I think as far as, you know, hip-hop involvement in it, I, I think it was more of a fashion trend. You know what I'm saying, with all these throwbacks and everything. I mean, they spawned that trend for, what, three years? I think it really started trending down, what, uh, 2006? Uh, per se. Now, let me go and touch on this uh, fantasy football angle of it, which is also another source of bandwagon trend. Now, you got all these kids, you know, wearing the player of their favorite jersey. But the problem is when they're when they reach 18, 19 years old. What ends up happening is they continue to root for a player in 
instead of rooting for a team and stay loyal to that team and I think that's really going to destroy you know the loyalty of you know your fanhood to the team what I mean by that is they're going to stay loyal to the player until they retire but yet never root for a team you know what I'm saying so that's pretty much my opinion on that you know and I do see a uh, a recurring problem with that I mean it does need to stop at some point I mean but if you rep your team and you actually have history of that team and you know your team I mean it's cool I'm not talking about the diehards that happen to be out of state you know do your thing but if you think it's cool to just throw on a jersey because it looks good or whatever you know that is bandwagon and I don't respect that at all I'm gonna say this right here and now 313 Hitman does not respect that one freaking bit it's okay to respect the player but I'm never ever 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 gonna throw a rival team's jersey on my shoulders that's like me going to a Care Bear store in Chicago Knowing that I'm a Lions fan, but telling, you know what I'm saying, telling the store rep, I want to cop a Alshon Jeffrey jersey, you know what I'm saying, that's something I would never do, it's like, why would you waste your money growing the enemy fan base, now, I done touched on, you know, a little subject, you know, uh, shout out to Fantasy Football 7, um, he told me that the Packers have a store in the Mall of America. But last time I checked, is it the Mall of America in Minnesota? And is it Minnesota home of Vikings fans? See, that's the stupid stuff I'm talking about. I don't care if the Packers fan base runs Wisconsin. That's their turf. But what I got a problem with the state of Minnesota is allowing the Packers fan base to grow within their state. I'm like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I'm like, yeah, the state of Minnesota may collect money on every Packer fan that happened to live in that state. But let's be real. That is a hub for growing the Packer fan base within your state and let me tell you that is terrible I even see Packer fans in uh, the upper peninsula of Michigan and I have a big time issue with that I mean if you are one team one NFL team in that state you should dominate that state I don't see no not an empire store in Seattle because that's stupid I definitely don't see any 12 man store in San Francisco because that's stupid. You just don't set up turf on your enemies in your enemy's market. It is just stupid. I don't ever want to see a Care Bear store. If I see a Chicago Bear store anywhere outside the D, I ain't going to protest my tail off. And tell them to move their garbage elsewhere. See, we as fans, the diehards, we got to make sure that our area is nothing but nothing full of our fan base. I want to see Honolulu Blue everywhere in the D and the most of Michigan. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to see. I mean, that's my idea of owning the entire state. That's what I want to see come back to the game, man. I mean, all this bandwagon shit is cool, man, but it does have a limitation, you know what I'm saying? So, that's pretty much my opinion on that. And that's all I'm going to speak on this shit, man. I'm going to go ahead and come back with a, uh, with a Pistons Draft wish list 
video. I don't know. I may even make it next week. I don't know, cuz. But that's my thoughts on this uh, bandwagon trend. It's your motherfucking one pride rider. 313 hit, man. I'm out this bitch. Honolulu Blue for motherfucking life.